What's up, YouTube? It's your Lord Jamie Kennedy 35 feet here. We have another episode of Tetro Tale. In the last episode, we, um, talked to two dr drunk chicks and, um, dated Sam. Like, two totally awesome girls, like. Don't <laughs> Oh, dear. Hey, hey, you remember my name? What? What? You remember? How could I be so easily defeated? Wait, I thought not remembering would defeat him. Is he defeated no matter what I do? Pretty much. I'll always remember that you remembered. Rememberception. If I had any editing skill or whatever, I'd have the Rememberception voice. With sound clip there, but I don't have the editing skill. Anyway. He seems happy. Oh, hey. We're, like, taking a rain check on the killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? What?! Wait, what am I doing? It's a girl. I forgot Undyne's a chick. <laughs> Zoe. Fuck. <laughs> when and where? Mm, later. What?! <clears throat> RG01 and RG02 are slacking off. Come on, they should be killing you right now. Dear Undyne, I'm so glad I befriended you. Not that I want them to, I mean. But they can at least try, you know. It sounds like that voice hurts you. Should I avoid doing the second call? No. Huh? Okay. I almost captured you. Here's my ice cream. Where's my ice cream? Okay, man. So yeah, you can always get two calls of them. Hey, it's you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellows have bought all my ice, my ice cream. I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I still got something for you. A big smile. How about a big smile? Won't he'll be in battle, you fuck? You are worthless. That's not nice. I don't care. I'm looking forward to murdering everyone here. Is that a boy or a girl? Are you a boy or a girl? I am neither. I'm an anthropomorphic poly... whatever. Welcome to the MTT Resort. Hotline's biggest apartment building turned hotel. If you're here for a night, I still live here. MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice. MTT Resort prides itself being on being passed through. Seriously? <laughs> uh, also, my imaginary things are always just make a joke about gender. I'm so proud. Oh, room service. Got my CT? I'm gonna have to go back to buy that, aren't I? Yes. Talk to everyone first. It's locked me inside. Oh, room service. Got my. Oh, god damn it. Then. You hear shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. You, seems like you put something under the door. No put. I'm gonna come back here for Undyne's letter. <laughs> seems busy. This definitely seems like a reference to Legend of Zelda, and since I know I got a paper item later, I can't wait to come back here. <laughs> also, what about that door that's locked? I wonder where the key could be. I thought that key was to was to map the Blue's cousin's place. Uh -huh. This elevator goes straight to the Capitol, but it stopped working. That might be a girl, but I don't care. It's a guy now. The hotel's done its best to accommodate everyone stuck here. I'm guessing this is also male. It is. Yeah, I'm not gonna go home tonight. I mean, be home tonight. Um, I bet there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. 
Oh, he's already still on the phone. As a slime, I am outraged. Why do I have a Tumblr vibe from you? Alright, because I have a Tumblr vibe from everything. For a second there, I thought that was a middle finger. No, it's a loser slime. Yes, we know. The elevator facility is not working. Because of the incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 year room. Interested? I wonder if the glitch works here. Damn it. That's not enough money. In the, um, from what I've, I've heard that in Snowden's, there's a glitch where you could actually get into the thing even without the 80, and then you'll come out with the 80. Oh. Huh. Welcome to the MTT Brand Burger Emporium. Home to the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. Trademark. Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm trying to survive. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. HP and 60 HP. So basically, these are for genocide runs. Yes. Have a sparkular day. That that's disturbing. The elevator is in use. Wait, what? Oh, the elevator is. Wait, why did it say it was in use then? Because it was in use. Up you go. Huh? Who was that? There, nobody else is supposed to be here. Oh well, we can't worry about that now. Yes we can. We can worry a lot. Hey Alphys, how about you give me a weapon? Oh wait, you did. My phone's a weapon. This is it. Take the elevator up to the top of the car. But the rules of R RPG sets should go to the sides first. Because side quests. Oh, it doesn't matter what you're doing. The elevator's working. <laughs> okay then. What? The elevator should be working. What will that go? To the right and keep heading up. Noise is the part where I say fuck you and go to the left, but I actually kind of like you a little bit more now, so. Alright. Now just keep heading up. Right into the flames of death. Look, Pete, this is on my back. Forget it, let's try the left side. Wow, I should have ignored her. I should have followed my heart. Even though my heart says kill everything. Okay. We should be able to make it through here. Watch out! You forgot the stammer. Magic pops out of its hat. Oh, I get it. Magic. Ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. Your defense, incre your defense increased by one. Abacadabra. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, bad, bad, bad magic! Magic does a mysterious jig. I feel like staring would be rude. Then again, he's a magician. Where do I want to stare? Chaser orb or corner orb? I... Okay, corner orb first. The intimidating corner orb was weakened by your glaze. Gaze. Now look at them! Oh, I thought the corner orb would actually make me have to stay in the corner to survive. Chaser orb. 
The unrelenting chaser orb was weakened by your gaze. Please and thank you. Oh god! Oh god! So chaser orb meant they were gonna chase me! And quarter orb meant they were attacked from the quarters! There. Now second fight. Oh wait, there were two of them though! It's not my bad bit talking. Nope, 60G. I should be able to buy a star fruit and I should be able to heal up here. So, heal. Wait, was it the star fruit or was it the um, trash thing that I could buy? Oh, let's find out. Uh, uh, probably the trash. No, it's the star fruit. Yes, what? Heals more. The trash, but I'm pretty sure the trash was 70, not 60. And you can now talk to him, by the way. Fuck. What? Why do you keep trying to talk to me? I'll get in trouble if I get chubby with the customers. Sorry. So, I wanted to have a- I wanted to be an actor. <laughs> okay then! Life advice. I'm getting on in years, so let me give you some advice, little buddy. You've still got time. Don't live like me. I'm 19 years old and I've already wasted my entire life. Uh, give me a real bad advice. Listen, I like you, little buddy, so I'm gonna give you a lot of trouble. Never interact with attractive people, unless you're one of them. They're just gonna make, take advantage of you. Like that one time, those two chicks asked me to sneak them some glam burgers, and I, naive teenager that I was, said yes to them. Bad idea. Tell me more. So I went out to the alley to see those two ladies, and, uh, you know, see what happened next. Oh my god, really? You find those two attractive? What's wrong with you? Then my boss, uh, saw me and asked me what I was doing. I was so startled, the hamburgers in my pockets tumbled out into the ground. Not wanting to lose face, I scrambled to pick them up. But, as I was leaning over, the weight of the remaining hamburgers caused my pants to fall down. Then the girls laughed at me. Everyone calls me Burger Pants now. The momentum. When I first came to Hotland, it was my dream to work for Metaton. Well, be careful what you wish for, little buddy. Why is it bad? God, have you ever looked around? This place is a labyrinth of bad choices. And every time I try to change something or for the better, he vetoes it and says that's not how they do it in the surface. Oh, right. Humans are always eating hamburgers made of sequins and glue. Why is MTT bad? Why do people find him so attractive? He's literally just a freaking rectangle. <laughs> you know, one time, I bought one of those, uh, kits online to, uh, make yourself more rectangular. They don't work. Future. Future? What future? Nothing down here ever changes! I'll probably be trapped at this stupid job forever. But wait! There's one thing that keeps me going. If Azrael gets one more soul, we'll finally get to go to the surface. It'll be a brand new world. There's gotta be a second chance out there for me, for everyone. So stay strong, little buddy. When I make it big, I'll keep you in mind. All right, and then the episode now, because we are really close to end of time. So if you guys enjoyed the episode, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. This is YouTube. See ya.